guys in today's video i'm going to talk about how to increase resistance with body weight training so if you are a bodybuilder and you're doing calisthenics the thing is after a while you're going to perform a lot of reps and you will need more resistance because you need to progress and to actively progress you need to add more weight add more resistance so this, there is basically three ways to do it with calisthenics. So the first one is to literally add weight. So how do you do that? If you have a weighted vest, you can use that. If you have just a normal backpack, fill that up with weights. I did a video on that, check it out. But basically get a normal backpack, an old backpack that you're not using, put some plates in there. If you don't have plates, just put in some heavy shit like some big bag of rice, some books, you know, something that's heavy. Close it up, put it on, and you can do push-ups with that, you can do pull-ups with that, you can do dips, you know, whatever. So that's the first most effective way to add resistance. Actually add some weight, you know. Like I said, get a backpack, put some weight in that, or some heavy thing, okay? The second most efficient way how to add resistance is perform harder variations of the exercise. So if you're doing push-ups, and push-ups are super easy for you, what you can do is maybe do one-arm push-ups. That's gonna be a lot harder. Maybe do wide push-ups, maybe do close grip push-ups, maybe do very slow push-ups. So you go down very slowly, like 10 seconds, you know, 10 seconds down slowly and go up back slowly. That is gonna make your training a lot harder and you're gonna perform a lot less reps, plus you're gonna have a lot of time under tension in your muscles, so that's gonna help a lot with muscle growth too. So you can do this with dips, you know, just go down very slowly. You can do this with pull-ups, you know, just very slowly. You can do this almost with any exercise. Just do very slow reps or perform harder variations of the same exercise. You know, so if you're doing pull-ups, maybe you, you do typewriter push pull-ups. Maybe you do one-arm pull-ups. Maybe you do closed chin-ups, you know. Doesn't matter, you just perform harder variations. That's the second option. And the third option is adjust your exercise angles. So depending on, your, on the angle you're doing in an exercise, the harder it's going to be. So for example, with the push-up, if you do a decline push-up where you're, where you're in a normal push-up position and your arms are on a bench on a higher surface, that's going to be a lot easier. But if you switch your angle and let's say your arms are on the floor and your feet are high up on a bench, that's going to make the exercise a lot harder harder because of gravity you know now you're doing push-ups like this instead of this so you have adjusted your angle and that means the exercise is a lot harder so that's the third option you can do now pick any one of these that's based on your choices what you want but it is very important that you pick one when the exercises get too easy because if you still want to progress you still want to build strength, gain muscle, you still have to do some kind of progressive overload. And adding resistance is a great way to progressively overload. So like I said, one of these three options, either add some weight with a backpack, weight plate, some heavy books, doesn't matter. Either do harder variations of the same exercises or adjust your angles in certain exercises which is going to make them harder so that was it for this video guys i hope it really helped you out don't forget to like leave a comment and definitely subscribe peace out